Hey there, friend. Welcome back. My name is Sarah Rusk, and I'm doing this right here, right now. Not even getting dressed, not even putting my lights on. I want to explain to you what's been going on with me, because it's important, and I just really would love to share it. So, on Friday, I had the most amazing experience of being able to be on Kyle Cease's hot seat. Something that I have wanted to do for, gosh, since I was on um, the Absolutely Everything Pass. And every single week I'd be like, oh, what, what could I talk about? What what could I, I ask to talk with him about? And, you know, questions would pop up and I'd have everything all written out and everything. And then I wouldn't put a question in and then somebody else would go on to hot seat. Hot seat, for anybody who doesn't know, is when somebody writes in a question, we all upvote it. And whichever one gets the most upvotes, um, he brings somebody on and he does kind of like a one-on-one -on -one talk with them. It really is an incredible experience. And anytime I've been going through something and he, he has somebody else come on, it's always been so relevant to what it is that I'm going through. And this Friday, I had just hit a point where I was like, screw it. I'm putting a question in, like I sat for at least an hour and just typed up a whole bunch of questions just because I was like, I need, I need to get this out. And you know what, if he, if he picks my question, if, if everybody upvotes my question, great. And if not, oh well. So I put in my question and it was, it was about giving my power away and just all of these feelings that have been like trapped up in, inside of me and just feeling so stupid and not like, I can talk or function like a normal human being sometimes. And when I was sitting there, I didn't check to see how many upvotes or how many questions like the, in the, the, the chat, the team, his team kept saying, you know, post questions, post questions. So I'm assuming that there weren't that many questions that were asked uh, on Friday. So then he was like, all right the question with most, up, most upvotes and he was he said he was like oh I like this one already and he was like Sarah Rusk asks and I was like oh here we go and I have mentally prepared myself for everything that I wanted to say all the questions all the stuff because I when I do the Kyle calls and it's not from like a fangirl perspective please don't think I'm one of those weird people his the content that pours out of him I've been holding on to it because it's he's putting to words what I have been feeling my whole life and through his work and through you know Dr. Joe etc I've been able to get myself to a place where I can really heal some of these god-awful wounds and excuse me and trauma that have been coming through just throughout my whole entire life and when I got on there it all scattered it all scattered it's it's as if like things that I had been prepared to say and talk about just completely shoved to the back of my body and for the life of me I could not get it to come out and I'm like oh my god no I love speaking I love doing this stuff like I got a freaking YouTube channel dedicated to all of this stuff like why now when it matters the most why is this happening to me why is this happening to me and I felt like the biggest idiot because I felt like I couldn't I couldn't speak and I'm like I, you, you gotta say something you gotta say something and I kept doing that thing where like I always allow people to finish their conversations or what they're saying first like I try my best to not interrupt I'm just that kind of a person to me I feel like that's a sign of respect um and I was just I was doing my best to like have the thoughts come out to have the feelings but like I I went so blank. I drew such a massive blank and I was trying, I, I hate to say that I was trying, but I was trying so hard to just be able to articulate what it was that I was feeling. And, you know, we went through the whole call. He was amazing. He gave me a, a lot of great feedback and a lot of stuff to chew on too. Like he brought to light a lot of stuff that was really masked deep down that I just had completely, you know, set aside um, or I had completely forgotten about. And he, he brought up, you know, how things have, I ha I'm so controlling. I am extremely controlling. Things have to be the way that I want them to be because if they're not, it quite literally means 
physical pain, emotional pain, or death. That is how it was for me growing up. I could not speak up for myself. I couldn't fight or if any kind of conflict or confrontation had to have happen and involved lots and lots of screaming and it couldn't be dealt with with just words. Um, he brought up a lot of great things and I was really nervous when, um, because at the very end, he, he says what's an empath's greatest gift and it's to receive. And I knew that, <laughs> but again, you're on the spot. It's so different when it's happening to you. I was nervous because um, people get to comment and I actually was able to see the numbers of people on there. And I was just, as soon as I noticed it, I kept looking at it. I was just like, oh, I'm, I'm, I am flubbing this. I, nothing's coherent. I don't think I'm making sense. I'm doing that thing where I speak and everything comes out in like a wad. And I kept watching the numbers, like they dropped a little bit, but they kept going up. Like some people would drop off, but then more would come on. And Kylie even said, he was just like, yeah, your numbers actually went up. And I was like, yeah, I was watching them. And afterwards, the amazing people that are on this call were able to come through and say what they learned and, and comment on, you know, what it was that happened. A lot of people thought I was 18, which I think is absolutely hysterical. When I said that I was 31, they were just like, no way. He was just like, no way. Also, I was able to tell a story where um, I was telling him about how I was going camping for my birthday. And he was like, oh, when was your birthday? And it was like July 23rd, last Sunday, and he was like, happy birthday. So I got a happy birthday from Kyle Cease. <laughs> That's really cool. Did not anticipate that happening. Um, and afterwards, when everybody was who was on the call was able to comment, there was such an amazing outpour of love from everybody. And people were just, you know, they got a lot out of what I had to say. And I, I was like, I was so taken aback because I, I honestly felt like it was like, it was awful. <laughs> And that I just was not able to articulate what it was that I was feeling and going through. And it was just so incredible. People people recognized me from YouTube and they kept putting my link in the in the, the, the chat. And I kept all I kept thinking to myself was, they're not allowed to have links. I hope I don't get in trouble for this. Uh, but I, I mentioned to him because Kyle and I Kyle Lego, I got to do a really cool Kyle Lego with, with Kyle um, where we are like a year into the future or a set time in the future. We did a year and he was like a year ago. I remember a year ago after this call, like everything just came together for you. He was, he was just he was so great about it. And um, and I Kyle Lego and I said, I remember really taking steps towards being a motivational speaker, going to a couple of writers workshops and stuff. Um, he's doing one in Santa Fe that I, I really want to go to, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to do the on, online version of it and I can't go in person, which I'm bummed about, um, but he's going to be there. <laughs> and I, I mentioned that and in the comments afterwards, um, people were just like, oh, I can't wait to come see you speak. I will read everything that you write. And I was like, well, that was a little blip. People really do pay attention and like hold on to stuff. And Kyle was so sweet. He's like, I'll write your forward for you one day. And I can't wait to one day co-headline with you or even open for you. I thought that was really sweet of him. And then, you know, after the call was done, because like in, when it's happening to you, you're just like... <laughs> what just happened and afterwards I had this I panicked and I was like what just happened what did I just do what did I say and I reached out to my friend Jen Chase just to kind of like put it into you know to just kind of hash out what happened and I was like what if what if people think this what if i said this what if like you know it really like <laughs> what if i really screwed this up and she was just like no you must be so excited and i'm like i feel the complete opposite i feel like i did something wrong i felt so much shame and so much guilt because i felt i felt like i seriously blew a massive chance to really help me through something. This is how I, my brain processed it. This is not what actually happened. This is how my brain interpreted it. So I, I spent the whole night with the world's worst headache. Um, and because I felt like I did some, <laughs> he's so cute, because I felt like I did something wrong, I couldn't sleep. 
and I had a really bad headache all day yesterday. I was in a really awful mood where I was just like, I, I don't, I can't keep going like this. Like, it's just, it's so, it's so, it hurts in my body. The, the trauma and everything, and I'm, one thing Kyle did say, which I have been actively working on, is finding a therapist, someone who can work with someone who has ADHD and has been through a lot of trauma, and my insurance is awful, <laughs> and I've been searching, so it's not like I haven't been, but I'm just at, like, a wall, because I, it, it's kind of like one of those circle chart things where it's like, I need a job but I also need to fix this ADHD whatever trauma stuff because I can't hold a job without it. But then I also need money if I my insurance doesn't take it, but then that means that I need a job and it literally flows in a gigantic circle. And I've been feeling so defeated about all of this because I just, I want to function like a normal human being. I want a normal person brain. I'm so tired of having a trauma brain. I'm so tired of being so angry all the time. I'm like, I'm just so over it. It's, I know it's the pattern. I'm just, the pattern that keeps coming up is just, it's frustrating me. And I keep working on trying to see it and be with it. And it gets so frustrating when it just, it's like debilitating. So um, I also want to give a massive hey there for everyone that came over from Hot Seat. My channel jumped like over 25 subscribers in a matter of 24 hours and I'm up to 900 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough- Ooh, shaking. I cannot thank you guys enough for finding value in what I had to say so much that you would come over here and, you know, come hang out and I-, I really appreciate your guys's love and support like you guys have no idea how much it means to me i'm so happy and so thankful to have you here this little community is really amazing we've we've grown into something really wonderful we always have been something wonderful but like i'm just so thankful for the the community and the the support that we have over here because you guys are just so awesome and i wouldn't be doing this without you guys um and so one thing kyle had said to do was to meditate he said just just listen to the now. Uh, during my hot seat, he gave me quite a few awesome exercises to do. And the one, one thing that I had said was about how the outside, you know, I'm trying to get my inside so that the outside can mirror it. And he shined a big light on a couple of things, which, you know, has to do with how I'm constantly seeking people that I need to help and reflecting on a lot of close relationships. That's, uh, that's what I do. I have poured so much of myself into it and not because they asked me to, it's because I think that's what I need to do in order to be liked, in order to have them keep me as a friend and then it doesn't get reciprocated. This piece of hair. <laughs> and I was reflecting a lot on that last night, a lot on that yesterday. I spent a lot of time in my, my chair reading and just being so like blah, and just you know wanting to yeah I, I don't I don't even know just being super upset yesterday I was so done with everything I wish I could have you know treated what had happened as if it was you know it was so exciting but at the same time I was so mad at myself so I listened to what Kyle said and um this morning I said, or last night, we'll start with, well, actually, we'll start with Friday. Friday, I sat for a half hour and I was like, all right, this is kind of nice. I, I, I'm working on just kind of calming myself down. Didn't feel as good as I wanted to feel, but I was like, all right, whatever. We're going to do what he says. I'm, I'm doing what he says. <laughs> and I felt okay. And then I crawled into bed and just, you know, tried going to sleep and it didn't really work. Um, Yesterday, I was just kind of in my own world. I was so hyper focused and hyper fixated on how I was feeling. I couldn't, I could not shake myself out of it. I was so stuck. I was so unbelievably stuck. I could not get out of my own way. Like nothing was helping with it. And I just, I, I took my dog for a walk at night and I'm like talking to God. I'm like, bro, you gotta help me out. I can't keep doing this. I, I don't want to keep doing this. I hate the way that I feel and I just, I need help. I saw a double rainbow yesterday. Like, like all the stuff is there. And I'm just like, what was me? Um, so last night I said, 
a timer for an hour and I made it a while. I made it for about 50 minutes and I hit a point where I was like, I was floating in and out. Like now I understand. And it's not like this is the first time that I've done this. I've, I've done this many times before, but not to the level of intention that I now have, um, especially because Kyle Cease told me to do it. So of course I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, when I was doing it last night, um, I had some thoughts come up and I had someone in particular that I, I don't think about anymore. And it was my grandma and this is technically her house. And I was thinking about her and I was like, man, it's because of her that like, I have a lot of the things that I have. She gave me at a very young age. She gave me my love to read, my love of puzzles. She was the one who bought me my first horse when um it would it would please he he was like not very expensive <laughs> but like when the time came and like i he was up for sale he was a couple thousand dollars he was not very much <laughs> i turned him into something great but but for my graduation she got him for me um cuz i didn't have a job at the time and i cried part of that out i was like wow i miss my grandma she was she was really loving and caring like she really was a good person and I was with it and I was like, okay, this feels pretty good. So then this morning I was up at like seven because my poor little dog Bailey May had to pee. And because I have not been sleeping very well, I was like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna set a timer for two hours and we're just gonna sit in silence. I am a student of Dr. Joe Dispenza. For anybody who doesn't know, I went to three retreats last year. I have had many out-of-body experiences. I shake sometimes when I meditate, and most times when I do my meditations, I do his meditations, which are so awesome. They're really great. Very, very, very powerful stuff. Um, so I decided this morning to sit in silence. Another thing that I do too is I have a neo- um, Omni Rhythm, which it, it's a, a PEMF, which is a pulse electronic, electronic magnetic frequency um, device, and it increases the blood flow in your brain, and you can like set the coils to different timings and and, and frequencies, so you can get it to constant, get your brain to concentrate, to calm down, to focus. And I always meditate with that thing on, and any time I've had an out of body experience, I have had that on. I've listened to a Doctor Joe meditation or pure gamma beats and I've completely flown out of my body and it's really funny because last night I thought to myself I have not had an out of body experience in months it's been a very long time like I wonder I wonder what's wrong with me <laughs> what's what's going on with me so I set my timer for two hours and for the first like half hour I'm going through the breakup phase where my mind's just like <laughs> songs are playing in my head and I'm just like brain can you please stop <laughs> so I'm letting it do its thing and then I start dipping into the different brainwave states I drop into I was in <laughs> high beta then to alpha theta delta and it's just kind of doing its thing and I'm just like okay it's pretty cool and I can feel when I drop down and then come back um, I'll hear someone moving around on the outside and I'll come back again and then I'll drop again because I don't remember what's going on. Um, and I was in a couple of states and, and whatnot. And then I kind of came back a little bit towards the very end. I'm like, okay, it, it has to have been at least two hours at this point. And then all of a sudden, mind you, I'm, I don't have my Omni Rhythm on me. It's just me with my eye shades, my pillow, my bed. That's it. I'm lying here. And then I feel it and it feels like every single cell in my body is electrified. Like I got plugged into an outlet and I'm starting, my body's shaking and going on. I'm just like, it's happening. And before I know it, pop right on my body and I'm like, yes. <laughs> and I feel it. Oh, I feel it. It is such a cool feeling. I've learned to not be scared of it. And I'm like, I'm leaning into it. I don't know if I'm supposed to. It literally feels like my body is going to explode every single time I do it. But like, it's just, it feels so good. Every cell in my body is 
jiggling and doing its thing and I'm like oh it feels so great and I'm like I'm not flying around per se but I'm just it it's such a cool sensation um I, it literally just happened like 20 minutes ago <laughs> that's why I'm on here talking about it um but I uh I don't really remember what I saw it wasn't it wasn't anything like the one time I went to like a like a 64-bit world or a six bit world. I, I don't know everything was very pixelated it was really cool um but this time I was just really enjoying the sensation and it felt so nice and one thing to kind of throw back to uh with my meditation yesterday um my because my head was hurting and I just kept thinking to myself please heal my brain please heal my brain please heal my brain um I felt it turn into like a wad and then like it did something in my body and the meditation this morning all I kept thinking of was like like unfreezing or un, un hardening my heart like softening it working it to just be softer and then seeing my brain just with this beautiful green light all around it and just healed healed from all the trauma the patterns the pain what have you so as soon as I came out of it I was like okay I got this and I checked my phone afterwards and there's a really awesome person named Joe that I have connected with so much on um, the It's Totally Possible group that we have. My schedule has been all over the place where I haven't been able to hop onto the calls, which I'm really bummed about because I love being on the It's Totally Possible calls. I love meeting new people and interacting with them. Um, she reached out to me on Facebook and she sent me a message and it was awesome. She's just like, hey, like, if you ever want to Kai Lego or, or it's really possible with me, like, I'm so here for you. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> I do. So I answered her back and I was like, wow, it's starting to feel like things are starting to feel a little bit better already. And I only went through like three meditations. Kyle said it would be fast. <laughs> um, so this is just me hopping on here for one saying, hey there to all my new friends and for anybody who saw my hot seat. You guys are awesome and just thank you for all the outpour of love and support. You guys are amazing and I'm glad that you guys got something out of it to the point where you wanted to come over here and say hey. Um, so many people were asking if I was going to be in Utah too and I'm, I cannot wait. I'm so excited to be in Utah and I cannot wait to meet you guys in person too. Um, but I am going to keep with this because I feel so much better today and it's feeling less and less than, like the, the the pain and misery that I was in yesterday so um yeah I will keep doing it keep you guys updated and I'm just really thankful and really happy that you guys are here so thank you so much I appreciate it remember you're the most important person in this entire universe and no matter what just promise me you'll keep singing okay friend